I'm a scientist by training, so I studied chemistry, um, physical chemistry, in fact. So there was a lot of physics, maths, science in general in there. And I guess the way I explain it to people is, you know, in those days I was uh, solving scientific problems with data and I've moved to solving business problems with data. So there's, a, there's an easy synergy there. And I always like to bring the, the scientific method, if you like, of of uh, a hypothesis testing and looking for the evidence and, and also the other way around, finding the evidence and then trying to figure out the hypothesis when, whenever I'm looking at data. It sounds like a big jump and people say, your education's been wasted, but, but actually no, I, I, I use a lot of what I learned at university in, in what I do in my day job. I'm old enough to be at universities, uh, university in the 90s and um, that was when the web was just coming of age, uh, very much an academic, a non-commercial uh, place to be and I was just blown away by the potential. I had so many ideas and thinking wow this is just a fantastic way to communicate and to do so many other things of course this is where I want to be or why I want to have my career and the thing is with science although I had uh, perhaps pretensions of going in, into academia the challenge in, in the scientific field is you measure results and success in, in years, in decades. When I looked at the web and I could see how fast things could change, you can get results within days and, and even less. So I'm an impatient person, so I like the idea of, of moving into the web side of things rather than yeah, scientific research. In the early days, I mean, I set up my first digital marketing company. I mean, I was doing a bit of everything. It was a small team. We were building websites. We were um, marketing websites, so explaining what search engine optimization was but of course you know we we had to figure out how to build a client and we were bringing a lot of traffic in um, how do we get paid for that and e-commerce was quite rare in those days so we came up with the idea is we'll get paid on performance that seemed to go well clients kind of like that only pay for what they receive uh, and for that you need good data so that's when I started looking at analytics so in those early days it was really about counting page views and converting those into sessions and just seeing how many came to a website. Um, if you could count how long they were there, that was great. And if they did something interesting like click a download, great. But that was all really there was to it. You've got to remember this is late 90s, so we're talking very early days. Uh, too early, really. I mean, Google didn't, didn't come about until I think 1998. But when I started, it was just one person who was the webmaster and they did everything. So they built the website, they designed the website, they hosted the website, they did SEO, they did uh, analytics. Um, but it, it rapidly uh, became more than that. So then we had people that just specialized in digital an analytics. That was an area I just naturally gravitated to because that was my, um, my background in science. So it was a natural fit for me to focus in that area. These days though, that role has become even, split even further. Tools have evolved as well in terms of, um, instead of just having one tool that can do everything, um, they're also splitting. We have you know, implementation tools, so the tag managers uh, that help you get the data in. Then there's the actual data collection and reporting tool um, that basically brings in the data for you to evaluate. Um, then there's a the visualization side of things. Although some of us in the industry were talking and worrying about privacy, for the vast, vast majority of users of analytics tools, vast majority of organizations, they just didn't really think about it, didn't care about it, unfortunately, um, and played lip service to it. Um, for them, data was the new oil. Um, they wanted that as the next kind of revolution, if you like, of, of their company. Um, and unfortunately, privacy really wasn't given much thought.